if you're taking a driving test in 2024, especially with the backlog, you need all the help you can get. So let's get into this mock test. Eva's gonna show you some amazing driving that you can copy, but she's gonna make a fair few mistakes that you can definitely learn from. Let's press play. Nice, okay. Boom. Let's um, turn off Kanye. Soz. Oh, come on. Sorry. YouTube sucks. Oh no, That's you can see my fluffy socks in this. The socks are great. Doesn't really are you not a fan of them? You must be a fan of them. You put I them mean, on. only because it will keep my feet warmer. I'm not because they look good. No? No. They don't look good? No. Is it not fun to have snazzy socks? I guess so. Oh, the one day I don't have snazzy socks. Yeah, I was going to say, you usually have I like. I always have the snazziest on, socks, but today they're just black. You always have the same shoes on as well. Yeah, they're they, good for are driving. They're your go to. They're my driving shoes. Mm. They've got a thin sole and they're, they look nice. It sounded like you were trying to convince yourself there. <laughs> they, they look nice as well. They do look nice. Um, so, what is up guys? We're with Eva. She's a TikTok sensation. What? You didn't warn me you were starting. Well, the cameras are all on. Oh it's all God. recording. All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. Can I start? Yeah. Do you mind? No. Okay. Sure. Mm. You didn't have anything to come back to that while the sensation thing, right? Okay, cool. Just like, yeah, I'll take that. Duh. Boom. Before we do a driving test, I'm going to ask you a show me, tell me question. Oh, no. Okay. Can you tell me how to check your power steering's working? That's a no. That's a no, isn't it, Eva? Um, um, it should, uh, it should, no, that's the brake. I don't know. Okay, backstory, I teach Eva how to drive. <laughs> um, she's had one driving test before, mm. which you are a sick driver, but the nerves kill you. What's yeah. the most nerve wracking thing about a driving test? The person next to you, I think. Sitting yeah. in silence, isn't it? Yeah, and okay. not knowing who. Like, how to check your power steering. If you don't know, like Eva doesn't, she will be revising this, then click this video. It's show me, tell me questions. I'll put it at the end of the video as well you're gonna click that and watch it. Because the problem is, sitting in silence, people make you nervous, mm. um, the anxiety of the driving test. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna have a silent mock test. I'm gonna try really hard not to chat. It's difficult, but I'll, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> and I wanna put you under pressure, that's why we're recording. So yeah. that you can then feel that feeling mm. and overcome it before your real driving test. Take two. Take real two. driving test, take two. You're yeah. a sick driver, but it's the nerves that killed you. Yeah. Drive on. Okay, did you notice I was writing stuff down? That can be quite off-putting, but it's important to know that when an examiner is writing stuff down, they're not always marking mistakes. There's more stuff along the route of your driving test that they need to write down and check off. So, the best thing to do, completely ignore the iPad. Having said that, examiners can put you off, although definitely not on purpose. They will also try and chill you out and make you feel more relaxed so that you can show your best driving. There's a bank of icebreaker questions that they can ask you to break the ice and create some conversation, like this one coming up. If you weren't on your driving test, what would you be doing with yourself today? Working. Okay. Doing what? Looking after drug addicts. Fun. Very fun. Awkward driving test, I spoke a question. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna follow that grey car into that car park alley on the left.
your job is looking after drug addicts. Yeah. I know a couple of boys in Peckham that do that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. Let's enter the car park here. Once we get around this corner, take any one of these aisles. Mm -hmm. Great, now pick a bay mm -hmm. and reverse park into it. Okay. I love watching Eva drive. She's so in control and so smooth with it. This is a great example of how in control of a car you need to be when you're ready for your driving test. Okay, we've got Eva's maneuver coming up. It's a reverse bay park, and this is her worst maneuver. Well, she thinks it's her worst maneuver. Watch how well she does here. It's all in your head. Are you whispering at me or to yourself? Both. Okay. <laughs> I know you're not gonna respond, so what's the point? Um, I feel like I'm wonky, so I feel like I should straighten up, but I don't know if I, I should, but I don't know. I don't know if that would just overcomplicate things for me. But I guess I'm just gonna do it and then I'll grip, and then I'll grip a little bit back. So it's then I push on the brake Okay, I feel like I just have to go because I'm overthinking it now. And I'll sit here all day. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it, I think. Good shout. Let's drive on. Okay. Nailed it. What more do you want? Smooth, in control, great observation, and inside the lines. 10 out of 10. Um, we've got some roundabouts coming up though. Every time Eva goes first exit on a roundabout, notice that she doesn't indicate on approach to the junction. She indicates when she's about to come off. That's incorrect. She's gonna pick up some driver force here. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, then turn right. What does it say, the first exit? Yep. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, then turn right. When it's safe to do so, can you show me how you would demist the rear windscreen, please? Um, uh, that. After 200 yards, That's the lights, right. isn't it? Oh, God. Um, oh, I can't think about all these things at once. Do you miss something? Um, Focus. Turn right. Um, I'm just going to say... No, I don't. 
<laughs> oh my god. Um, something like that or something. There. Which one? You have to press it while you're driving. Know which one? No. Um, I'm just gonna say that I don't know. Thanks. Oh, I didn't know what speed this road is because you were distracted, mate. <laughs> um, um, there's no twenties on the floor, so I'm gonna say that it's a thirty. I think, because I feel like there would have been another 20 by now if it was, but I don't know. The show me question. Okay, some instructors do say, don't bother with the show me, tell me questions, just say you don't know the answer because you're gonna get a driver fault and then pass your driving test anyway. I think that's a bad idea because actually, once you're a proper driver, you do need to be able to operate switches and controls in the car while moving. If your window fogs up and you're on a motorway, you need to be able to clear it without pulling onto the hard shoulder. That's dangerous. So do practice them, do take it seriously and do get it right. Because Eva was messing about with the show me question for so long, she missed the speed limit change into 30. But good tactic here. If there's no repeater signs, 20, 40, 50, then your speed limit is 30 miles an hour in a built up area. Okay, let's watch what happens next. Eva's gonna take a roundabout second exit straight ahead. She's a bit hesitant to enter the roundabout. Maybe she could have taken a couple more of these gaps, but I always do say, if you're not sure, don't go. You'd rather get a minor for hesitation than go when it's not safe and fail. The other thing, she goes to the inside of the roundabout. When you're going left or straight on a roundabout, make sure you track the outside. You can only use the inside of the roundabout if you're turning right. Let's watch. After 30 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the second exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the second exit. Okay, loads more roundabouts coming up. And again, it's really important, if you're taking the first exit, you need to signal on approach to proper roundabouts. There's also a mini roundabout coming up right now. It's borderline, but the exit is slightly to the left. It's not straight ahead. So I would have signaled on approach to that roundabout as well. Let's look. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. This one, yeah? Yep. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit.
cross the roundabout and take the first exit. That roundabout, perfect. That's such a good example of exactly how to take a really big, busy roundabout. Eva's car control there though, right? Mwah, bellissima. So coming up next though, I'm gonna make Eva do something that she really, really, really hates. But when you're driving around on a Friday night and someone drunk stumbles out of a Weatherspoons into the road, that's exactly why we do this. Also afterwards, pay close attention to how Eva takes giveaway lines. Too many people stop at a giveaway line, go into first gear and then look left and right be in first gear, looking left and right, and go if there's nothing coming. It will shave so much time off your journey and not piss off all of the cars behind and get the examiner back for their cup of tea and a chalky bicky so much faster. Eva. Oh, I know what you're about to do. <laughs> the next thing I want you to do is perform an emergency stop. Okay. This is her worst thing ever, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, you know the drill. Yeah. Go for it. Again. Thanks. Drive on.
turn left. When you watch Eva take junctions, if I didn't tell you this was a mock test and she was a learner driver, you'd think she just had a driving license, right? That's proper driving. That's what the examiners want to see on your driving test. Don't drive like a learner. You're auditioning to get a proper driving license. Drive like a proper driver. Okay, we're going to end the independent driving now. So I'm going to give you the directions back to the test centre. Watch this. Mini roundabout. It's a complete mess. She's going to fail here. Okay, cool. That's the end of independent driving. I'm going to direct you from here. After 300 yards, you have reached your destination. Two things went wrong here. And they might not seem like big mistakes because nothing dangerous happened, for sure. Nothing dangerous happened at this junction, but they are both failable mistakes because you're fundamentally demonstrating that you don't understand how to use this junction. So number one, she positioned to the left side to turn right. You need to position to the right if you're turning right. That's basic. And then secondly, she stopped on the roundabout when there was a car on the left. Nothing was coming from the right at all. Again, demonstrating that you don't know how to use this junction, that's gonna be a fail. Um, we're basically right at the test center now. So we're gonna to cut to the results and check out how Eva did on her mock test. We're like two rows away from the test center. So we're gonna stop here because right. for some reason, because it's winter, it's getting dark really, really early. We're like driving at night now. Yeah, Graham. Boom, switch the engine off. How was it? That roundabout. The last one? I was looking, I don't, I've never done this before until today. I don't know what's going wild. on. I'm looking to the left, not to the right. Yeah. Because I was like, why is he just waiting there? Oh. And I was like, oh, because he's given way to me. It was all right. Oh, good. I definitely think there was like a good few mistakes though. How were the nerves? That's what the point not of this too bad is. to be fair. I just was like, don't speak because that's when I distract myself. So that's okay. why I was like. But the little bits that you did speak were kind of keeping you focused and yeah. reasoning out things with yourself. So yeah. that was much, I've seen, I've seen you nervous, mm -hmm. 
driving up to Westbrook on your last driving test, yeah. that was you nervous. Yeah. Like I was saying stuff and you were hearing me in Egyptian. <laughs> Can you remember? It? No, exactly. <laughs> and your driving was wild. So we did a mock test. Everyone watched you, and we were in silence, which is mm. your worst thing. Mm. Was it okay? Yeah, it was better than I thought it would be. Your driving was actually normal. This is you normally driving, except yeah. maybe with some more concentration because we weren't talking. Yeah. So if we can get that exactly the same on your actual driving test, you're yeah. going to be fine, right? Get in the comments. Wish Eva luck, energy, positivity, good vibes for her real driving test. Because you can drive so well, you could drive so well before, and you're like, oh, but you said that last time. Yeah, but it wasn't you driving. You yeah. always say that. I always say, yeah, but you could have passed last time, and you're like, yeah, but last time happened too. Mm. But if you can just remain focused and stay in your own head, you could have passed last time, you can pass yeah. this time. You can drive so well, I'm not letting you not get a driving license at this point. It's not an option. Do you want to do my test for me? <laughs> to be fair, if you don't <laughs> fail, yay. Because then we can do more TikTok stuff. Mm. Catch Eva on TikTok. Here's her address. She My said address? That the, said that at the beginning. Your TikTok. <laughs> your address. Shut up. Here's, not, I can just cut this out because I edit the videos. Yeah, true. Follow Eva on TikTok. Here's her app. Better. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> you have to leave that in, I think. Okay. Um, boom. Sick. Sick. We out. Peace, Peace. out.